Uh, hi, everybody. So thank, thank you for being here and sorry for the small delay. I will uh, share my screen to present you the, um, uh, the, our new Net Zero Sprint. Up. Here we are. And uh, now, uh, let's make it here. Yes, I hope you can see. And as we are already late, I think we should begin. So thank you all to, for being here, for presenting this net zero sprint from Justine. Um, so I'm Claire Bertier, CEO of the company, and uh, we are very happy to launch this new initiative. Um, this is uh, already something you, you, you might know her or not. So, so for your uh, well-being trust team is a French asset manager and uh, quite engaged in engagement in many years. And now, as we have taken some internal engagement, we are proposing you, external investor, to join our uh, last spring, our last engagement campaign. And that is what it is about. So um, let's begin. I will do a small introduction, uh, uh, I think a 10-minute presentation, and then uh, open up for Q&A. And I would be very happy to answer your various questions and hope uh, that I will be able to answer uh, your questions. So, of course, just a small disclaimer, uh, as uh, we are here uh, just to, um, to speak all together and as intended to this meeting, you know the potential low, there are no acting in concert or nothing like that. So uh, you analyze the participation uh, of the meeting. We are here to share information, um, but of course we are totally independent in our investment decision or voting decisions. So print net zero, why? Of course, if you are here, is that you know that we have a global, a global challenge, which is climate change, and that it is a collective and global challenge for which each of us can act, but we have to act all together if we want to have a chance to stay on a 1.5 uh, pathway. And this one, in order to achieve this 1.5 pathway, we know that we have to collectively achieve a net zero by 2050. The last year, uh, there have been a lot of reports. Of course, the IPCC report, which pointed out that we have to achieve net zero if we would have a chance to get to, um, how to say, livable world on a one from five scenario. Um, there have been also the I, uh, uh, IEA net zero scenario, which was uh, really a very interesting report, pointing out some key milestones of what we should do in order to achieve uh, this 1.5 world and to still have a chance to live in this kind of world. So we know what to do, we know where to go, but unfortunately, new company uh, achieve and have sufficient targets and sufficient commitment to achieve that. That's not sure. What we do, uh, what we have done, a trust team, is doing a study with consumer, with French consumer, and asking them, from your point of view, do companies do enough for climate change? And the answer is definitely no. Last year, we surveyed that more than 86% of French consumers thought that companies were not doing enough for fighting climate change. And as an investor, it is quite challenging because not only um, we, are, uh, we have a collective responsibility for climate change, but as investor, we know that our companies rely on customers and that if they do not enough on climate change, there will be a trust problem uh, and then a loyalty issue and in the end, a business issue. 
So that's why we decided to act. And um, by the end of September 2021, we, uh, after a summer um, um, communicating on net zero, we uh, had this very ambitious um, goal to have more than 90% of our portfolio that were committed in a way or another to net zero. Um, by that time, only 38% of our portfolios were, uh, were, were aligned or at least committed in a way or another to net zero. One year later, so uh, last September, we were up to uh, 75%. So that's a great news because it means that companies have understood that this net zero goal is very important. So we uh, have spent some letters and um, we, uh, we think that, uh, but still there is a long way to go to achieve a 90%. And that's why we think that we, we, we have launched this sprint because it's really a short, we have, we have only three months to go for our goal and uh, we have to act uh, a lot. So during the three months, we were planning to, uh, to, to, to send letters, to go to, to companies, to again ask them for net zero and see what would happen. And the idea behind that is that we are doing that long, but maybe it could interest uh, other investors. So that's why we have decided to open this initiative to other and third party investors, French, uh, but also uh, international investors, and we received some interest. And that's why we have decided to go for a sprint. And what is a sprint? A sprint is an agile methodology, um, a cycle. Um, where you uh, plan to achieve a limited uh, feature um, so that uh, you could achieve feature after feature, a complex goal. And alignment, uh, Paris alignment, being net zero at all, is a very complex activity um, for which you have to divide in many uh, categories. So being uh, committed to net zero is only a very first step of this journey. In this complex journey uh, comes from being committed to net zero, but after that defined objectives, long-term, mid-term, short-term objectives to, net, to, to, to uh, lower the CO2, um, then define a uh, complete decarbonization strategy, align all your capex uh, among the strategy, have a coherent uh, climate lobbying policy, uh, and also disclose everything in that. And of course, that is in the end, go into the account. So that your financial statement and your extra financial statement still coherent. So that's a lot of things. And for companies, and especially smaller ones, um, that's a lot to digest, they have to, because they all have to move. But if we do it step by step, it is easier for them to go. And uh, this commitment is a quite easy one. I mean, it's just a commitment and it's a tone from the top, a top management issue for which they can decide very quickly. But of course, they have to be um, incentivized to do so. And in, as an investor, that is also our role, our goal, to give clear ask to company in which we are invested for, for, for guiding them in the right direction as a responsible investor. This is a common goal for which we have to achieve globally for all our portfolios and all the company we have in our portfolios. So going back to our sprint, uh, what is it? So we have defined the goal, the common goal, which is achieving this commitment uh, to net zero for our portfolio company. So we have already planned with our teams uh, what we should do. And now it's time for implementation. Um, after this implementation, uh, this daily implementation, we will do reviews of what has been done in the last week. 
we plan to do reviews every week, every Thursday at 1.30 uh, p.m. And uh, we call it a Café Net Zero. Uh, and you will be invited uh, and uh, happy to join. Um, and in the end, in January 2023, we will do a retrospect with the PRI in order to learn on what was well, what was not well, and how we could uh, be better for the next round, the next sprint. Because, of course, the idea behind that is to launch then a first sprint, but then to go for others. Um, and uh, sprint after sprint, aligning other companies to uh, an Ethereum and making them move and translate into the real reality to have a real impact on the economy. So, um, what is the current timeline of this sprint? So, I only launch the in October, the, the PRI page, because it's, uh, uh, we have chosen to open this uh, campaign under the PRI umbrella. So you go to the PRI collaboration website and have the possibility to become a member. In November, so today is a webinar day. Uh, we have done a French webinar uh, this morning. Today is the English webinar. Um, and after that, uh, we'll send you, uh, I already posted some additional uh, material on the PRI website. On next Thursday, there is a deadline for signing the letter. If you want to join the initiative and sign the letter, we will send to companies. Um, the deadline is next Thursday. Um, and if you just want to join the initiative without signing the letter, but just know what is happening, having access to meeting notes, company codes, etc. You can join by becoming a member on the PRI uh, website until the end of this month. During November and December, we will have company meetings uh, and uh, we will try to move the needle and change the, the, the presentation of companies so that they could now be committed by the end of the year. Um, and then, I already said, uh, we will do the retrospect with the PRI in general. What is the scope? Uh, currently, the scope has been designed by our needs, so the need of trust team. As I told you before, we have, to, we have taken strong engagement and um, we have some companies that, uh, to our knowledge, by the end of September, we're not committed to net zero at any kind of commitment. So what we have done is writing to them to ask them for net zero. Uh, we have done that last year. We have voted accordingly in the in in, in the in, in the general meetings um, in the last season, uh, and we have already sent them some emails uh, in the end of October preventing them, that we will send them a formal letter um, by mid-November. So on, we have on the one end the priority list, and on the other end, a robustness list where uh, we have companies for which have been, um, which have been uh, committed in a way or another to net zero, but where we, have, we might have some robustness issues because they are not SBTI committed, because it does not cover the all uh, scope, so maybe scope one and two, but not three. Um, or we would like to have additional information. That's why we have these two lists and uh, tailored to your need and to our knowledge. However, uh, if you think that uh, this would be interesting for you to add other companies, we are very happy to have you and we'd be happy to add new target companies so that you could benefit from our experience and the experience of other investors in order to move the needle and uh, make the company commit to net zero before your end. So what tools uh, are at your dis disposal on the PRI website? So as, already, as I already told you, 
um, the the easiest way to communicate is through the PRI collaboration website. Um, we already have sent some emails to IR, so to investor relations, to present them the initiative and ask for additional uh, information. Because maybe, you know, they already have done some net zero commitments um, for which we are not aware of in some presentation somewhere, we didn't see. Uh, maybe um, they are currently committed with SVTI, but SVTI uh, has currently a lot of delay in um, in, 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 in doing the, their work. Uh, there are a lot of companies wanting to be um, to work with them. Maybe there are other issues. So we um, we ask them. Uh, we take, they have the opportunity to give feedback before the initiative. Then we will uh, send some draft of a formal letter uh, with this commitment, and then there will be meetings also. When you will have the opportunity to participate in the meetings uh, or to have access to the feedback of the company. And how uh, will we communicate? The easiest way would be to, to connect to uh, once a week to a small cafe or together. Um, and uh, to have this opportunity to to um, to, to give feedback, to give uh, experience, to know uh, where we are, what are the latest news, when are the next meeting, uh, what are the best strategies, what are the feedback we had from company, from investors, um, etc. So it will be every first day a transfer day, yeah, things. So if you want more information, please become a member on the collaboration uh, UNPRI website or shoot us an email. But in the end, how could you contribute? You know, it's like a buffet. Uh, you, you took what you want. Uh, we really have decided to open something that we are already doing. Uh, just to collaborate, take experience from others, so that you could also learn from us. So it's already a co-creation. So you could just come and listen to our uh, Net Zero Cafe once a week and, um, and, and, and take knowledge. It is okay to participate just like this, because uh, I think we think we have done it before. Uh, with other collaboration, and we learned a lot, and that is how we gained experience and experience to go further. So that's the first step, and that's totally okay. Um, then you can also become a member um, of the PRI collaboration platform and have access to additional material, like the letters, like the emails, like the um, like, like like company notes, etc. And it's uh, and it's okay also to use this materials for your own use if you just tell us uh, what, what you will do with that. Uh, on the other side, uh, uh, you will uh, have, you have the opportunity to participate um, uh, to sign the letter. So the deadline is quite short. It will be before next Thursday. And then uh, to participate to call the companies in the next month. On the other side, if you want, on top of that, if you want to engage with new companies and become a lead with using our tools, it's definitely okay. It's really welcome, and we'll be very happy to open this initiative to new companies. So that was my small uh, presentation, a bit longer than what I saw. I hope uh, that it was useful. And now I will be very happy to, to open uh, to your question and to answer to your questions. If you have any, of course. Um, you can either uh, shoot a question on the discussion or um, uh, raise your hand so I can allow you to speak. Uh, maybe, uh, well, I can. Uh, Share with you is some question I had this morning from the uh, from the French panel. 
So one of the questions they had was uh, uh, was about the, the scope and um, uh, and how it related to it was related to uh, some various initiatives of uh, uh, of other uh, organization or association. Um, especially uh, climate action, or maybe the, some heard about the IGCC Next initiative. So I see that I mean, on the call, there are other persons that would be more knowledgeable than me to, to speak of that. But the idea is really to, um, to have a platform to discuss with, uh, with investors and to integrate uh, with other initiatives. For example, um, so the climate action initiative limits itself to 166 companies. So the scope is quite limited. Uh, and for example, for us, uh, under the 300 companies in which we are invested, there are only seven for which we are shareholder. So that's quite a limited number of companies. Uh, and we need to act also to, uh, on others. So that's why we, we wanted to, to find other way to act. Then you have the CDP initiative, which is great, but also encourage uh, other investors to do one-on-one um, -on -one engagement with companies. And uh, you, you will see that the letter is done by, um, draft, we have drafted for CDP not committed company, uh, is really inspired by the CDP letter. So, uh, and it is really any end that we're working with them. Um, for the other uh, initiatives, we'll be very happy to join forces. And if um, they are more knowledgeable uh, investors uh, or better place investors for leading the engagement, we will be very happy to, to get them uh, or, or offer to collaborate with them or give them the, the lead on the initiative. So, um, well, I think that the list are, are, are quite, uh, uh, might be different. So the idea behind that is really to launch the spring and like in a dry methodology to see what works and what is not working. Uh, currently, in terms of reserves, um, under the, the, about 60 companies we have uh, contacted on this first uh, first print, we had a twelve percent result on the which uh, we had some some good feedback. So that's quite uh, that's higher than our previous campaign with CDP, for example. So we're quite happy, and I think that's only a beginning. So yeah, I see Claire. I think you want to speak, please. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for this, Claire. Um, you may find that you haven't had any questions because it looks like the chat function is actually disabled. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> that, that would be why Sorry. people are on mute um, and why I've just put my hand up. Yeah, thanks very much for sending this through. And just to that point that you, you just mentioned there. Yes, I mean, earlier this week, IIGCC, um, I mean, you, you obviously thinking along similar lines as the need for kind of um, really speeding up the engagement with companies and, and broadening the pool. Um, the point that you raised about potentially it being a different list um it is a different you know the, the list that trust him is is putting out mm. at the moment that you're engaging on um there isn't significant overlap with the one that iigcc uh, proposed earlier on um this week and the iigcc members will be hearing about um imminently um and i think there's a real complementarity the initiative that, that you're doing and um, we'll certainly be talking more in terms of looking at um ways of working working together on on this and making sure that best kind of efforts result in um in impact but i think it's, it's really positive um to see you taking this kind of collaborative shared learning uh, approach to it and um congratulations on that thank you claire i'm very happy to to hear that and looking forward to this to, to, to the kit, and you know that, um, of course, uh, uh, the French working group of uh, the climate action would be very happy to uh, to, to help on, on these issues. So if you uh, wanted to to ask something, uh, sorry, as the Trump is disabled, um, do not hesitate to raise your hand and share. Uh, 
that could be done. Maybe uh, on other, um, another question I had this morning uh, was about um, just coming back to my question. Um, what was about uh, the, 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 sh the very short term of the sprint because it's a, uh, it's really a, a, a three month initiative. But um, as I said, as in IDR methodology, we think it's only a first step so that we could begin uh, to have a good relationship with uh, other with targeted companies. And once you are in a, in a dialogue mode, you can then uh, ask for more. But the first step is really to engage this dialogue, to understand them and to, and to understand why uh, they are moving or not moving and how you could accelerate it. So that's so very, uh, very interesting. And of course, it's only a first step because what is interesting is the real world impact and especially how you move the CapEx, uh, how it's uh, aligned with uh, uh, with a real transformation of business models, you will see in the in the list that many of these companies are not at uh, vital risk as maybe oil and gas or utility companies are, but um, they still need a significant change in the business model to to continue and to to be able to be on a one point five pathway. Um, one other question I could have is on you know, also um, uh, what would be the next step in terms of escalation. Uh, for that, uh, we will see that in the next spring. But having this caffeine at zero every Thursday, I think, uh, would be a good platform also to discuss on these issues and uh, to help uh, one another to, to gain knowledge from one another and the different strategies that uh, other investors have put in place in various geographies. So uh, we would be very happy to, to also uh, give the opportunity to other investors to share their knowledge and to share some strategies and good ideas, what is working, what is not working, uh, how we could um, put things together, how we could uh, go public, for example, on some uh, initiatives together or not, um, and uh, what would be the good ex escalation strategies. Uh, in terms of implications, also maybe a last question on that. Um, implications, we only, uh, we already, uh, as we are doing uh, this for ourselves and opening to others, it's totally okay to just participate in the cafe, for example, or become a member or, or just listen to a call. Because as I said, um, uh, there, are very knowledgeable other investors all around the world, and we have learned from them. And uh, we think that now, if we can help one way or another to to um, to, to 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 be uh, for others to learn from us, uh, that that's great, and that's how we could leverage uh, what we do. So very happy to gather other kind of investors and initiatives. And to uh, to help engage a responsible investor to move the middle for getting more companies to get committed to net zero. So we have it's uh, four thirty. So unless you have additional questions. I think uh, we can close this call and please do not hesitate to contact us uh, if you have any further questions, if you want to participate, if you uh, want any uh, further information um, for having uh, access to uh, additional tools as the letters or, uh, or draft of uh, of the list, uh, please go to the PRI collaboration website uh, or shoot us an email and we'll be very happy to help you and uh, get on the next step of the initiative.
Thank you all, and uh, happy to speak with you very soon. Bye.